And welcome back folks to Let's Play Solo, Realms of Arcania, Shadows Over River. Let's see what's here. Those orcs must have been so frustrated when they found nothing to smash in here. Arshan states dryly. Hmm. There's the text. I would like to read, read this please. Damn you. These shelves contain two roughly uninteresting tomes of mining stuff, like an 800 page study on the consistency of brick. Oh, very interesting. There is a hole in the back, back wall of the shelves. Arshan shouts excitedly. And indeed, you notice a hole about the size of a finger. I would like to do nothing with this hole. I can't do something about the hole at the moment. Whoa! What's this? The legs of a dwarf stick out from the water barrel. Presumably, he drowned while the rocks were torturing him. Do you pull him out? Yes. Arshan grabs the body's legs and pulls it out. The dead dwarf is horry to look at. His face has been eaten away by small scavengers. Arshan takes one look and starts to get ill. Arshan's charisma is reduced by one point. Strength reduced by two points. On the second try, Arshan manages to pull the dwarf clear and lays him on the floor. There. You examine the body a bit closer. You are standing over the dwarven corpse and gathering all your self-control. You examine it. Ooh, that's disgusting, Arshan go groans, fighting off nausea. Okay, I've tried tried it again. Say. How come he drowned with his mouth closed? I notice all of a sudden. Could he be trying to hide something? With a look of utter disgust and a lot of effort, Arshan pries the de dead dwarf's jaw open. Inside the mouth, he finds a small key. This key must be extremely important if the dwarf was willing to give his life to protect it. Moves Arshan. Okay. Look at this, 7 Charisma. Charisma is very important for domination spells. What's this? These are all strong healing potions? I don't think so. Hmm, strange. Whatever. The ashes in the fireplace are cold. There can't have been any fire in here for days. A number of heavy cauldrons hanged from the ceiling, all of them dark with soot and quite empty. Do you want to swift through the ashes? No, I don't think there is any important in it. The shelves are full of the sad remains of several broken drugs. In a corner, you come across the contents of one smashed drug, which Austin has no trouble identifying as you go where roots. Guess the rocks didn't like the taste. He starts dryly. I don't need this, sorry. Everything on this table is shattered. I think I will save.
chest, okay. No this, thank you. On the lowest shelf, there is a whole box of fish that hasn't even been touched. Seems like the intruders didn't care for the taste. I don't need fish. Either. The wine casts have been smashed. It is impossible to tell whether it happened before or after the attack. The barrels are filled with water. Fairly stale water at that. Do you want to drink it anyhow? Nope. In front of the intact cask of wine, two dead orcs are sprawled on the floor with an empty expression on their faces. The cask is empty. There's something to be said for moderation, says Arshan, and examines the bodies without finding anything but a few copper bits. Okay. Apparently we found the kitchen. Let's go back to the treasure chest. Couldn't open it. Now we have a key. Hold on, Arshan says. That lock looks just like. With these words, he pulls out the key and opens the lock. Just as I thought, he then says with obvious satisfaction. A cross banner, eh? Let's try it to use the cross banner into the the hole here. Put something in. Let's try that metal cloth thing, Arshan says, struck with an idea. It fits perfectly into the opening. You turn the crossbar until the shelf vault gives a jolt and swings back. Hooray! Don't trust this here. Oh, looks like there's a dwarf here. The dead dwarf leans his back against the wall. He is dressed in finery, but his cheeks are sunken. The poor guy must have starved to death in here, pities Arjen, and starts to examine the body. Probably locked himself in here to protect his gold, he declares, and pulls back off almost 70 ducats from the dwarf's cloth. Hmm, thank you. Arshan looks into the chest and lets out a scream of rage. That demented fool has ripped all of the records. The entire chest is filled with scraps of paper and parchment. Do you want to try to piece them together? Oh yes. Arshan's charisma is increased by one point. Well, well. With quite a bit of luck, admittedly, you find a few scraps that form intelli intelligible sentences of the day were pieced together. Greetings, Radomel. I forgot to mention that you should be careful with the book. Best you bring it to me unopened. K point. Strange. Want to pick up some more scraps and try to make some sense of them? Yes. You don't have the room to pick up the letter. You want to drop something? I would like to drop the city map. My subjects get increasingly restrictive, but 
I am making progress with the mystery. Tonight I visited the statue with Nombosch. He answered the first question with yes and statue incinerated him with a beam of fire from its eyes. I put his in reins. And I will be back in a few seconds guys, see you.